Yes, the hare is back. And yes, this cow has a serious problem. Welcome to the Hoof GP. You can see she doesn't even want to touch the ground with it. And I'll be honest, this may be an instance where we can't help. We'll get her in the crush and then we will know more about it though. Sometimes we can't do much to help them at all. And sometimes we can do huge amounts of things which are completely unexpected. With that said, let's get her up the race and into the crush. Right, and now this little puppy dog is in, let's see what the crack is. Now genuinely, I'm hoping and praying it's her foot because if it's not, there's nothing we can do about it. Unfortunately, it's looking good so far. She does need a little bit of a trim around here. You can see there's a bit of imbalance. They're a little bit long and she definitely needs modeled out. So hopefully when we do that, we'll figure out the problem. I should give you a little backstory here, an inkling as to why I think it may be her leg. Well, for starters, the farmer told me they were fairly sure it was her leg and they were worried we couldn't do anything about it. Couple that up with the fact that her feet are really neat and well looked after. It doesn't leave a whole lot to go on when she's walking around. I thought perhaps it was her stifle. If we just fix the exposure like that on the camera, you can see she has got bruising here. And this is a typical area where you would find an abscess. So I'm praying there's something in there. Let's model her out first though. Trimming the cow's feet to length and then balancing them, i.e. taking the height down and modeling out. In other words, doing the proper steps of the five step method can often lead to you finding the problem without actually looking for it, which is partly why we go ahead and do them first. But as you can see, nothing unbelievably obvious has arisen. Oh, that bit's tough. Right now, I know there's pain there because she's moving as I touch it. So we're going to trim that away. We are going to put a lock on there, but hopefully this problem is more substantial than it looks. Doesn't it sound funny that I'm hoping this is a serious problem? But if you think about it logically, if this isn't a serious problem, then what can I do to fix her foot? Which is why, if this is a serious problem, we have a little hope. Oh! Eh. Oh, Eureka, I am overjoyed. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous that I'm overjoyed, I've found that. But I am, because it means I can do something to help this guy. I know that there's a bigger cavity lurking underneath this hoof horn now. I didn't before I found the abscess, but now that I've found it, I know there's a cavity there. I know there's a problem, and I know I can do something to fix it. You can see that juicy pus in there wanting to come out. I still have to take my time because I'm not exactly sure how far the cavity extends. So I definitely don't want to do any more damage than has already been done. But look, there's a flex there, see that? That flex tells me I'm close to something underneath that is softer than a hoof horn. And as I press that, you can see the pus bubbling, which means there's air in there and obviously a pocket. I don't know why this thought's just come upon me, 
But I studied art and photography at university, or rather, art school. And now I'm a professional cattle hoof trimmer. I'm just wondering what you guys out there in the herd, in the comments section, what did you guys study and what have you ended up doing in life? Has it been a good progression? Have you ended up in the right place? I'm fairly sure I have. As I'm trimming away at this abscess site, I'm really glad in the knowledge I can go to the farmer and tell her that actually her cow is going to be all right with a little bit of time and TLC. I'm so close to live tissue here. You can see it, this is live tissue here. If I cut into that, there's blood and there's pain. Here's the problem here, look. That is still loose. So is that. It's most likely that this cow has bashed or banged her foot in some way. That bruise has caused extra pressure within the hoof capsule, which in turn has turned into an abscess, bursting out at this little junction in the white line. And we stop there. These can be incredibly sore, as you've just seen. And I'm hoping that what we're doing, despite it seeming fairly minor, will make a radical difference to how she walks once she's finished. Because the measurements we're working to are so fine, I've grazed her corium. It's going to be of no great consequence, but that's why you can see the paper towel and me applying pressure to stop it bleeding any more than it needs to. All that remains now is for us to polish up this inside claw, ready to bovie bond on a block. Look at that, oh so clean. I love trims like this. It looks pretty, doesn't it, Craig? It looks awesome. Prettier than you? No. Answers in the comments. Hold on a second, I've just come to a different angle. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, there's still loose tissue in there and I don't mind admitting that I've missed that because now I've seen it and I'm going to remove it. You can see it right there. From that other angle, it looked like this was more substantial, but it's fine, so we'll just leave that. Look, that's called product placement. Yes, I'm sponsored by Bovie Bond because I asked them to. It's the best glue there is, in my opinion. Now she is not going to walk perfectly when we let her out of the crush because there is still inflamed tissue in there. It's still going to be sore, but it should be a whole lot better than it was just two minutes ago. So let's get this foot down and see if we've made a difference or not. So like I said, there is still some inflamed tissue in there, but just look at how much better she's walking. She didn't want to touch the ground before, remember? And now look at her. So with a happy hoof GP and hopefully a happy cow, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you've subscribed. Catch you later. Oh, and by the way, that cow will continue to get better and better and better over the next couple of days. She genuinely will. As the inflammation goes down because the pressure's off that foot, it will start to heal and start to mend, and the pain should completely disappear. If you want to check out her story and other cows just like that, then again, make sure you've subscribed.